Hello, Internet. Welcome to Chatting with Tegan for June 2012. So, yeah. Uh, E3 happened. I'm not going to go into it. Basically, I'm going to put some annotations here with, like, uh, my, my, my fellow dudes from the Internet. Uh, aimless podcast. Do podcast. So, we have, like, stuff on YouTube now. So, it's like, I'm just for the annotations of, like, our impressions from the stuff that was talked about because I don't want to get just, like, into it. There's not really that much to cover anyway, because outside of the press conferences, I didn't like look too much into anything because I didn't want to have anything like spoil or not spoil. Just like sometimes when people are showing their game, they don't they like show too much of it, and it's like they give too much away. So I kind of feel like they kind of did that with Dishonored to like say all, all that stuff about like the storyline. It's like I would like I would have preferred to have gotten that when I was playing the game and like all the exposition in the, in the game and not already know like why the character is trying to do stuff to right the wrongs and stuff but whatever so yeah uh annotations is that at the beginning of this video I'll actually just I'll just dig it all the way through whatever because yeah I can and stuff but uh yeah so besides that I guess actually I guess moving actually to, as of, while I'm on the topic of E3, because I have a text file here that I was going to talk about. Where is it at? So yeah, um, let's see. At the beginning of this year, the two games I was looking for, well, besides Mass Effect 3, the other games I was looking forward to were SSX and Binary Domain, but I haven't bought them since they came out before uh, Mass Effect, and I was still playing Mass Effect 2 to like get ready for 3. <laughs> and I'm still playing 2 to get all my Shepherds into 3. Cause, ah, what did I do to, why did I do, why did I do that to myself? Like, I need to put up a video of all my Shepherds and like, it's ridiculous. Just I have so much stuff I still need to do in Mass Effect 2 and get all these characters into 3 and still finish 3. And <sighs> Part of me is like, well, Mass Effect is awesome, so I get to keep playing it for like the rest of the year. But the other part of my brain is like, why did I do this to myself? This is torture, but whatever. Um, yeah. And then, I guess while I'm on the subject of Mass Effect, um, I'm going to try to like not talk about anything Mass Effect until the second part of this video. Or it's the second part of this chain with Tekken, so I'll save all my Mass Effect gushing for that. And yeah, back to E3. Focus, Tekken. <laughs> so yeah, E3. Um, so yeah, the games before E3 I was looking forward to, besides SSX and Binary Domain, were Fall of Cybertron, Tekken Tag 2, Borderlands 2. And then after E3, it's basically Resident Evil 6, like, I knew it was coming out, but I wasn't, I wasn't too excited about it, because 5 was not as good as 4. It's okay, like, it's not a terrible game, but it's not, like, 4 is just, like, easily one of the best games, like, ever, like, in my opinion. So it's in my top 10. 5 did not live up to that, like, close at all. It was just, I don't want to get into it, but basically it wasn't scary. They added co-op, made it less scary. Like, kind of like Dead Space. Dead Space 3, ugh, oh, Dead Space 3, why? But, <laughs> in the day daytime, not really scary, more action-y, there's, like, one scary moment in the whole game. And it's more more action, shoot dudes in the face, less scare the crap out of you, and like survival horror, no, no uh, bullets and stuff. So six, however, well, I think the like what the thing about six is like when they, when they, when I first saw the uh, like the first time I saw the gameplay was at like the, the Microsoft press conference when they showed Leon, and he's like my favorite character in the series. So it's like hell yeah, Leon Kennedy back to save the day, rescue. Rescue whoever needs rescued, cause he's the man and gets it done. And uh, so yeah, that that was cool. And he has like dual wielding and like CQC and yeah, zombies are back and I don't know. I, I, like it, like every moment of that like presentation, I was like, oh man, this looks awesome. This looks awesome. So I'm back on Team Resident Evil after that and ready for it. Even though I don't know. It, and and from like what the uh, like one of the producers or developers or whatever they said like each chapter or not each chapter but like each campaign, since you have you have like Leon's story, Chris's story, Wesker's son, whatever his name is story, and there might be another one, but whatever. Like each of those are like eighty percent the size of like the full campaign of Resident Evil Five. So that game is going to be at least three times as long as Five, which kind of fell short anyway. But <sighs> Five. If I was okay, it's like whatever. I'm 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 kind of over Resident Evil Five. I I think I might do a playthrough of four and five and two, just cause like just get pumped up for it, man. I'm already pumped up for it. Like I I, I want to play. And then <laughs> it's like I say that now, but I know I don't have time, so it's like I might do that. 
like the same thing with like Splinter Cell. Like I, I really like convic- conviction, and when I saw Blacklist, I was like, oh yeah, mark, mark and execute. I love that mechanic, so good. So like after I saw that, I was like, yep, Splinter Cell conviction playthrough. Let's do it. So I might be doing that too, if I have time. You know, I might, I might just like do it whenever I have the time and just like very slowly put up like one stage or one chapter at a time or something, whatever. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, games, games I'm excited for. <laughs> I always is yeah, sorry. Um Series Evil Six, definitely on my cannot wait to play the game list. Um and then Far Cry three, Far Cry two, I love Far Cry two, like that is just it's like the combination of like open world and first person and it just like is like goes together so well. Even if like the open world isn't big enough, but whatever, like yeah. Yeah. It's like it's like if I, well, I haven't played Skyrim or Fallout 3, but it's like, I imagine a game that was like that, but without all the jank of, like, combat that's not awesome, in first person anyway, so, yeah. Whereas, like, yeah, uh, Fire, Cry, Fire Cry is just, like, first person, like, shooting, and then, like, you have a giant open world to explore, and you feel like you're exploring, and then the story and stuff could be better, but it, it does, does a lot of cool things that other first person shooters aren't doing, so that's why I like it, and yeah. But, but three is just kind of weird though the way it has the whole yeah but for whatever i'll play because like i like it and i guess for four player co-op campaign so hello like borderlands 2 and i love any game that's like four player co-op like mode because even oh, there's some game that had it and i was like oh four player co-op awesome but whatever um i'm getting sidetracked now but yeah fire 3 can't wait stoked for that and then uh, The Last of Us. I saw that, man. Oh, dude, that is like, that, that game just like stole it for, like, that, uh, the, like, the icing on the cake for me. Just, in that demo, when you like, shoot the dude in the face, like, so good. Like, just the whole thing, all the way through, like, like, just, okay, so like, you're never regenerating health, which is like, I hate regenerating health. So it's like, oh yes, one point there. And then like, you, you see the dude has like, what, two bullets or whatever, when like, he starts like, attacking the dudes. Even though I was kind of like, why was he attacking the dudes? You should just hit whatever, just I'll let that one go. So like, you have like no ammo, so it's like kind of like survival horror in the daytime, done better than Resident Evil, because it's like there's like you're like way outnumbered, and you're against humans, which are like way more savage and vicious than like some creatures or whatever, because yeah, humans are jerks. Uh, have you played Mass Effect? <laughs> and then like uh, AI AI partner, kind of like kind of like um, Yorda from Eco, but not. I don't know, I kept, it made me think of Eco because it's like you and an AI partner, but instead of solving puzzles, it's like you're navigating through all these rooms with like enemies that are trying to kill you, so it's like, oh man, can't wait for that, like just, and, oh, and the tension, like, you go to like your, 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 uh, am, your bag the dude had with like all his stuff in it, and like your radial menus, and it seemed like that was all in real time, and like, it actually takes you time to like dig all that stuff out and like get it ready to like, like equip it and use it, so that was cool. But yeah, the, the, just the game. I'm, I'm so pumped. I was hoping it was this year, but then they said it was next year, so it's like, ah, like, it's still on my list for, like, games I was looking forward to, so. It's like, it's next year now, so whatever. But that and beyond, and yeah, just <laughs> all the games that got delayed into next year, so there's plenty to look forward to next year, so I'm not even going to worry about games I'm looking forward to for next year, but that's it for my, my yeah, like, games I'm looking forward to this year, and then, like, I'm going to, like, thinking of like peering all these like right now because GameStop has this thing where you get like triple rewards points and like usually they don't, they don't give you very many for pre-ordering so and, like if I get triple rewards points okay that's cool but it's weird because I haven't even like spent any of mine so hmm. it's like the one thing in their rewards thing I want to get is like the uh there's like an old republic republic uh logo with like the thingy like the blue t-shirt with like the white republic logo from the old republic but I think you have to pay shipping on that, so I'm like, eh, not so sure, so, hmm. I think I'm just, like, saving it until there's some Mass Effect 3 DLC for single player, and then just, like, get the, uh, get, like, some free PSN money or Xbox Live points, and then spin it on that. So, yeah. Uh, let's see, that was the first thing I was talking about, which was games I'm looking forward to, so, done with that now. And moving on to, okay, we're hitting the 10-minute mark, I think I'll try to, let's see, stop it at, like, 15. What am I talking about now? Ah, videos I've made. Okay, so since the last time I uploaded, let's see, we have 
uh, Mass Effect 3, I started that new pl new game plus video, so that's what that is with the film, the film junior. Yeah, all my videos until I make a playthrough of, uh, for my character that I've made all the playthroughs with of my Shepard are going to be with that, uh, engineer. And then, like, I made all these, like, dialogue, uh, comparison, uh, scenes, so... I want to eventually do a, a Mel Shepard version since like the, sh the voice actors are different and then like compare those with like the ones I have and like have like a deed Shepard version, Fim Chip version, and then like a version with like both Fim Chip and deed Chip since I'm putting them up at like different times and I won't be able to get them both because I still don't have all my deed Chips into Mass Effect 3 so I can't make those videos yet and some of the stuff, <laughs> like the Balak one I haven't done yet, which, which is like, it's like three fourths into the game, so it's like, that's 30 hours in, so that's like, what, 30 hours on like four characters is 120 hours, so that's going to take a while until I get that video up, so hopefully I can get like at least the game trip version of it up sooner than later, so we'll see. But who knows when I'll get it done, so. But at least I got all the other ones, like the Tally one, that one was cool, when I talk about Omni Tools, the one on, uh... Earth when like they mention the um, alpha relay and then like if you're a new shepherd it's like they don't even mention it and like actually that was so weird like like if you input your shepherd you're like oh don't worry about not saying anything or don't worry about leaving me out of the loop about being promoted blah blah, blah. and then like you start a new game like you just walk past you I was, I was like what that, that was weird that was crazy and then on Mars you talk about the alpha relay and like or, like it's mentioned and then like Liara's all like I, I use my my content or my what was it like my context as the as the shadow broker or something and like so I'm wondering like if you if you import your shepherd but you didn't play shadow broker but you did play um, arrival like how would that dialogue be different so I'm going to test that out and see like what it what it's like and if it's different I'll just like put it up as a video response to that and like that that'll be cool if, well if it's something cool but we'll see uh ch -ch -ch -ch, Arkham City or Arkham yeah Arkham City so yeah. I did one of the campaigns, and like, I want to eventually do all the campaigns since I have all the uh, challenge rooms so far. So that's that's on like the long term <laughs> something I would like to do. And then every weekend operation, I'm uploading all the uh, commendation and victory packs that I get for what for like yeah for completing the uh, weekend operations in Master Three's uh, multiplayer. So eventually, I will hopefully get all of them, and then be like, yeah, I. I guess someone will be like, yeah, I won, but yay, victory, the Reapers are defeated or something, I don't know. <sighs> I was about to talk about Mass, Mass Effect, but that's next next, next video. Shh. Save it, Tekken, save it. So yeah, Black Ops, that playthrough. I'm really hoping that, like, they go back, like, or that, okay, so after playing that game, I had not played it in, like, a year or something, so I completely forgot about, like, the secondary, like, plot line of, like, uh, the the Kennedy assassination. So it's like, I'm hoping that they touch upon that either in Black Ops 2 or in the Vita game that it is like, at least they at least say something about like, was Mason involved with that? Like, how did that go down? Like, was, was he the shooter? Was he the second shooter? Like, was he involved at all? Or did, did the, uh, brainwashing work or did like, was he still like, was it still in his brain? And then like, he went off and like did that or what's up with that? But then that's a weird thing. It's like, they knew he was brainwashed. So like, I'm, I'm wondering, like, why they didn't, like, not, or, like, or, like, when he was brainwashed, could they have, like, did something to him to, like, prevent him from doing anything else that might have been implanted into his, like, memory or whatever, to, or, like, whatever else they had brainwashed him to do, so, after they, like, got the codes, they'd, like, it's, like, <laughs> they probably could have prevented that, but whatever, I, I think I'm, like, just thinking too much of, into, like, that plot of <laughs> a first-person shooter. <laughs> Cause like that that the, the the storytelling in that game like after playing it a second time I'm like I really like the storytelling from like the interrogation and like dialogue and then like it goes to the events of like what happened and like they like are just like talking about it the whole time and like the story the storyline could be better but like I like the storytelling because I, I like that part when you're on the uh, the rocket mission and like you have to shoot the like the uh, Russian or the Soviet. Uh, they're 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 shooting up they're shooting up like a, a rocket and like you have to shoot it down with a missile and then like at the end of the mission his like memory gets all like fuzzy and he's like yeah some guys some, some guys limo and like it gets crazy and like they're like he's losing it let's get him out of there or whatever <laughs> that, that was pretty funny uh but yeah black ops 2 or black ops 1 not as <laughs> better than i remembered not as bad as i feared um 
Let's see, besides that... Oh, Arkham Asylum and Arkham City, so I got the playthroughs of both of those up now, um, so yay. Also, uh, Arkham City DLC, Harley Quinn, do not buy that. Like, unless it's on sale or someone gifts it to you, like, that. that's not to, that's not worth 10 bucks. Like, I put up the friggin', what, like, an hour, 20 minute, like, pfft. I will eventually come back and, like, put up, like, parts 1, 2, 3, or whatever, but it's not that good. It is not worth the money. It was... I think what it was is my expectations were just so high because I, I love Arkham City and like I wanted that to be like the cherry on top and it was not that like I kind of would have just preferred more challenge rooms if that's like all they're gonna do is like here's a deleted scene from the campaign of what happened after the credits or something that they like had probably already made and they're like you know what we took it out of the game let's put it back in 10 bucks and charge it and like ugh man that was a that's like I'd say the worst DLC I've played all year and like my probably let down at the air so far that that DLC because man like he didn't even get all of Arkham City with like <sighs> yeah I'm not, I'm not gonna get, get started but hopefully they add some more and you can play like the whole city with all the DLC care or Robin and Nightwing and have a better like extended or not extended epilogue but just like more I mean you're in Arkham City already like just make a storyline you have the characters there the, the engines already done just I'm sure it's not as easy on making it as I don't know anything about making games, but come on, dude. It's like, come on, Rocksteady. I have faith in you. Let's see where are we at on time here. We are at crap, 16 minutes. All right, I'm gonna go through these real fast. All right, so um, see, so yeah, the weekend operation things like there's like a screen when you go into them of like what it is, and like now I'm gonna do do like the uh, PC version and just like. Either take a screenshot or like a video capture and then just like commentary over it because like I'm getting comments in some of those where it's like people don't really understand like from from like what's on there like what is like needed to do so I guess I can do that to uh, help the community of Mass Effect 3 players and that'd be cool. Oh yeah and then I have like every weekend challenge that I've completed so those are, I'll keep doing those. Oh I'm saving up credits right now for a PS3 to like buy a ton of uh, premium spider packs whenever the new DLC for Earth comes out, that's supposedly rumored, but we know it's gonna happen, because, like, so far, like, all the leaks have been, like, true about, like, the DLC, so, hopefully it's this month, if not, whatever, I'll, I can wait, um, <laughs> I was about to say something about Mass Effect, but I gotta save it until next, next video, uh, ch -ch -ch oh, I made that video about the highlights from, uh, Operation Mastiff, and like I wanted to do that for the the one that had like the banshees randomly spawning with the other enemies, but I didn't get around to it. And then like the all the other ones too, just to have like a a video of like killing all the banshees or the brutes or the phantoms. Cause like the ones where it's not gold, it's like it's kind of hard to show a video of like, all right, I completed this uh, operation. So yeah, just have like a not like a montage, but like a bunch of snippets. But I guess that's the same thing. Whatever of like doing the same thing over and over, like getting the objective on that last one. Okay, then I have the uh, Rebellion DLC character, oh, that's Mass Effect stuff, sorry. Well, I just, it was the videos I did, so yeah. The Rebellion DLC characters and weapons, I did that, so that's, that's done. Uh, oh, and then like the missions I failed in the Operation Silencer. So yeah, so yeah, going forward, any any like time I do an operation and like I, I fell it, I'll add it to that fission meld category. I'm not sure if I made a, a playlist for that, but I think I'll do that too. Oh, I finally put up those mass or the Modern Warfare three videos from like when I played after month after like a months of not playing. So it's still easy to get into. It's like yeah, there's there's always going to be people playing, so I guess it's not that as bad of a uh, a grind that you're getting thrown into. So I guess. Unless you have the DLC, because I think like everybody that buys the DLC is like really hardcore, so yeah, have fun with that. Um, let's see, Rebellion DLC weapons and characters, Harley Quinn DLC, In 7 Challenge Weekends. Oh, I put a, a gameplay videos from all the different classes that I didn't have before in Mass Effect 3, so there's that. Oh, I put, oh yeah, someone wanted me to put up a thing about Mass Effect 3's uh, 
character creation and all the skin tones. Whenever we get a Krogan win, I'll, I'll just put it up as a video response to that video, since I haven't got those yet, or unlocked it yet. And I already talked about the dialogue of Mass Effect, and the, yeah, I just put up a video about my PlayStation Plus stuff and deleting it. Alright, that's it for part one of this video, and I'll be coming back after this with part two, gushing about Mass Effect and stuff.